guys what's up welcome back so today I'm going to show you how you can use widgets to customize your home screen now on the new iOS 14. The first thing you have to do is pick a background and a color palette. You want to figure out what you want your background to be so you can decide what other colors you want to incorporate in your new home screen layout. For my wallpaper I knew I wanted something kind of like nude and I think I wanted to have the little Pantone um, logo at the bottom so I really just typed in Pantone wallpaper I found some like sample colors and then I really like this one so I just typed in that in the search and that's how I found some different ones and then I'll just airdrop one of these to my phone so these are a few of the different ones that I like. So what I'm going to do is just select them all. And then if you right click, you can share slow, slow. Okay. Boom. Airdrop. Wait for it to pop up and then I'll just airdrop it to myself. So once I had those background options airdrop to my phone I just went through them again and I chose one but I still ended up switching it later on which you guys will see yeah as you can see I just chose this one to start with and I set it as my home screen and that was it so once you've decided what your background and your color palette is going to be to make it a little bit easier you want to remove everything that you currently have on your home screen you can just simply drag and drop all of the apps that you currently have on your first screen all the way over to your last screen just so that the page is clear and you have a blank canvas to work with. We're going to create shortcuts later, so it's really important that you don't delete your apps even after you create your shortcuts because it will permanently delete the app which is not what we want to do. You just want to move it to the last page so it's out the way. So now that the home screen is cleared off, we want to go in and create some photos slash icons for your apps. Now this is how you basically customize what your apps look like on your home page. So I like to use an app called Over. I use this app for almost all of my digital needs. And I'm just going to create a new project. I'm going to click image. And then you can either Google images or you can just find images that you find on Instagram or wherever. I just found some really nice images on Twitter, so I just saved them to my phone. And you wanna make sure that you make it one by one or a square, because this is the size that it needs to be in order to make the right size for the icon. So I'm just going to save that to my photos and I'll do the same thing with a couple other photos so I can use these photos as pictures for my icons. And of course, you want to choose photos that go along with your color palette, whatever you decide to do. As you can see, I went with like a nude color palette, so most of my photos are like browns and nudes and things like that. But of course, you can use any color palette that you want and then just choose photos that go along with that color palette that you choose. So now we have to go in and create shortcuts for the apps. And this is what allows you to customize the icon photo. Now shortcuts is not new to iOS 14, but it's a pretty nice touch if you want to just add more customization to your home screen. So now you just want to go into your phone and search for the app shortcuts. Then you press the little plus button in the corner to create a new shortcut. And then you're going to type in open app. Once you press open app, you're going to choose what app you want to create the shortcut for first. And I just chose Instagram. Then you want to press the little three dots in the corner. Then you can name the shortcut whatever you want. I'm just going to name it Instagram, but I decided to do all lowercase letters. Then you press add to home screen. It's probably going to make you type it again. So just retype in the name that you want to use. Then you press the icon and you can choose what photo you want. So I just chose one of the photos that I just created. Press choose and then it'll make that the icon for Instagram. You just press add and it will automatically add to your home screen. It'll probably go to the last page, but just press and hold and drag it to the front and then boom, there's your app. And you just want to continue doing this for all the apps that you would like to customize. So once you're done customizing all your apps, it's now time to add the widgets. Now widgets is what's new to iOS 14 and it's a really cool feature and there's a bunch of ways that you can also 
add things to customize your widgets. So as you can see, I have the apps here that I've already customized. I'm just pressing and holding the screen the same way that you used to be able to move apps around. You'll see the little plus button in the corner. And then here is where you'll be able to add widgets. So the first widget that I knew I wanted to add was reminders. Now I'm just choosing the middle size reminders, but you can choose a small one or there's also a larger one. So you can just choose the size that you want. Like I said, I chose the middle size one. Then once the widget is installed, you can actually choose which reminder list you want. So I have another list. This was, I don't know why Frenchie's list populated, but I have another list in my reminders that I created called Dose of Love. And it's just a list of affirmations. So I chose that so it would show on my home screen. If you've never used the reminders app or you're just unfamiliar on how to create reminder lists, you wanna make sure that you do that in your reminders app first. And I'll show you guys how to do it. So this is what the Reminders app looks like. It's an app that's already on the phone, it's not new. And then you can just go to New Lists. You can customize the color of the list and then you can also name the list. And I really like this because you can have different lists with different types of reminders. So I just created this one and like I said, I named it Dose of Love. And then I just added a list of information, information, affirmations that I wanted to show on my home screen. You don't have to put affirmations here. You can put anything that you wanna show on your home screen, like, I don't know, pay car note or remind me to pay phone bill or whatever reminders you want. I just chose this as just a little personal touch and this is how it will show on the home screen. And you can play around with the widgets that you wanna choose. You can play around with how they're layered. You just press and hold and you can move them around. So I just got inspired by this one that I randomly found on Twitter and I decided I wanted to find a photo similar to this with like the shadow in the back because I really like that. So let me see. I just literally Googled brown window, I was about to say window, but brown window shadow photo. Just to get one similar. Obviously I don't want the exact same one. Maybe even something like this. I did end up changing my background like two more times, but I just wanted to show you guys the creative process because you'll start to move things around and realize like, oh, I like this color better or I like this background better. So you might notice my background changed throughout the video and that's just because I kept changing around like the vibe that I wanted. <laughs> Now, if you don't really like the Apple widgets, you can always download these apps called Widget Smith or Color Widgets and you can customize your widgets. I didn't really like the ones on Color Widgets, so I just downloaded Widget Smith. And in this app, you can customize different types of widgets. So there's date widgets, there's moon phase widgets, there's time widgets, um, there's even like calendar widgets or event widgets. And you can go in and just play around with the color and the background the font, even they have different styles. So I just kind of customized my own based off of what my theme was. Initially, I chose this events widget, but then I ended up switching it again to like a time widget or something, but you could just go in and play around and see which one you like. And you install these widgets the same exact way. You just go to your home screen, you press and hold, and then you'll press widget smith, which will pop up in the widget options. And for some reason, mine was acting kind of weird, but you can just press the widget size that you created inside the app and then you'll see it pop up on the screen. And of course you can move it around. And here is where you will see me change my background. Once again, I just chose this little couch background and set it as my home screen just cause I like this one better. And I also changed my phone from night mode to day mode just because I liked how the widgets were white in day mode rather than dark. And then you can also see that I added like the batteries widget and in the corner, the widget smith, I just changed it to the date one. And you can layer them however you want in line with your apps. And then also when you swipe all the way over, you can add more widgets here. So anything you can't fit on your home screen that you really like using, you can just add those apps here and you can easily see or get to the apps that you use the most often. So I actually had like my most recent apps there, but I also went in and just added a couple more apps. 
and that just makes it so much easier for you to access the apps that you use the most often. Now, when it comes to all the rest of my apps, I haven't gotten a chance to go in and organize them the way that I want to yet, so they're kind of all over the place still. But like I mentioned earlier, you wanna definitely make sure that you do not delete them because if you delete them, it's gonna delete from the screen. Essentially, when you create those shortcuts, it just creates a shortcut. It doesn't create a new app. So keep all of your apps. You can just bunch them up and put them on like the last screen or something, but don't delete them. But that's pretty much it, you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Thumbs me up if you did. And hopefully I will see you guys all in the next one.